This is a decimal pipe kit or an LAB linear algebra blocks. There's one piece of long pipe that counts as the one and then there's ten of these other smaller pieces. They're tenths. I'll show in a minute how that all works together. There's hundredths, which are these ones here, thousandths and two spare hundredths and two spare thousandths in each pack. So that just comes in a plastic bag, but um, depending on how you make it up at school, at, in high, at secondary level we had 10 kits in one plastic box, but you might like to um, make them into individual little student boxes like this, just a you know, $2 shop, you can get a little container, label it up, um, depending on, on how you want it to be. Around the right way, so it goes like that. So there's tenths, hundredths, and thousandths in there. Um, yeah, so now let's go on and use it. So let's see how many tenths go into one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's take a closer look at one of these tenths now. So as you can see, next to it I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those fit into one of those tenths. That means when I count up my pipe, it would be like saying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that little piece represents one hundredth. That is a hundredth. Now that hundredth, as you can see, is made up of ten washers. So if I was to look at this, I could say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which would make it 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, or a thousand of these little washers would go into my one. So that is a thousandth. So let's look at addition of decimals. On the left I've got 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. Each one of those is a tenth plus 3 tenths. And when I put them together and add them, I get 8 tenths. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's look at this number now. I'm going to add 0.25, so 2 tenths, 5 hundredths or 25 hundredths because look if I swapped each one of these for 10 of these I'd have 10, 20, 25 hundredths so 25 of these hundredths is the same as 2 tenths and 5 hundredths and here I've got 3 tenths or if I was going to swap or think of it differently I could think of it as 10, 20, 30 hundredths so here I'm thinking of that as 3 tenths or 30 hundredths. And what have I got? Oops. Point 0.55. I've got 5 tenths and 5 hundredths. So I've got 5 hundredths, 5 tenths. So there's my answer. The next one we'll do will be with carrying. So let's have a look at adding 0.29, so that's 2 tenths, 9 hundredths, 29 hundredths, plus 0.53, 5 tenths, 3 hundredths, 53 hundredths. So what that looks like when we write it down looks like this. So when I add my hundredths together, 9 hundredths plus 3 hundredths, gives me 
twelve hundredths. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hundredths. So that gives me twelve hundredths. I can put the two down, but I can't put two digits in that one column. So instead, ten of those are going to be replaced by one of the tenths. So let's get rid of two, four, six, eight, ten, and we're going to swap that for one tenth. So there's the two tenths of my answer. And what I've got left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the one that I had to carry before to remember that I have swapped my ten hundredths for one tenth. So now I've got one, two, three, and eight. So I've got eight tenths and two hundredths. Here I've got four lots of two tenths or four lots of 0 0.2. So four lots of 0 0.2 you can see is just 0.8. So four lots of 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So here I'm showing you four lots of 0.3, three tenths in each group. I've got four lots of them. So I've got four lots of 0.3. And that equals, let's have a look, I've actually got 6, 9, 12, 12 of these tenths, 12 tenths, hmm, 12 tenths, hmm, but 10 of these tenths fit into one of those long ones that we had. So I can actually swap 10 of these tenths, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, for one long pipe. So that leaves me with one point two. So 4 times 0 0.3 is 1.2, and that is actually 12 tenths. have a look at division now. I've actually got six tenths there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six tenths. If I shared that between two people, if I did 0 0.6 divided by two, six tenths, what's a half of that? If I shared that between two people, how much would we each get? Well, we'd each get three tenths. So that's how you do that one. But if I said to you 0 0.6, how many groups of 0.3 are there? Well, there's my 0.6. How many groups of 0.3 are there? How many groups of 3 tenths are there? Well, there's one group. There's two groups. So 6 tenths, how many groups of 3 tenths is 2? Let's take a look at rounding. So on the very left I have 0.2, 2 tenths, and in the next two I've got 1 tenth. So all I'm looking at is comparing 0.2 and 0.1, so 2 tenths and 1 tenth. There is 11 tenths, 0.11. Is it closer to the 0.1 or the 0.2? 0.1. What about 0.12? It's closer to 0.1 or 0.2? It's closer to 0.1. 3, 4, they're still both closer to point 0.1, one tenth, but after that we say that point 0.5 and above is actually closer to two tenths. So there's point 0.5 which is halfway between point 0.1 and point 0.2, there's point 0.6, point 0.7, There's 0.89 and there is 0.2 made up again. So DC pipes are great for rounding as well.